In this slide, we're going to talk about poet Philip Levine. Philip Levine was one of the leading poetic voices of his generation, a large iconic Whitman of the industrial heartland. The son of Russian Jewish immigrants, Levine was born and raised in industrial Detroit, where he began working in the auto factories at the age of 14. As a young boy in the midst of the Great Depression of the 1930s, he was fascinated by the events of the Spanish Civil War. His heroes were ordinary folks who worked at hopeless jobs simply to stave off poverty. Noted for his interest in the grime reality of blue collar work and workers, Levine resolved to find a voice for the voiceless. While working in the auto plants of Detroit during the 1950s, I saw that the people I was working with were voiceless in a way he explained in Detroit Magazine. In terms of the literature of the United States, they weren't being heard. Nobody was speaking for them. And as young people will, you know, I took this foolish vow that I would speak for them. And that's what my life work would be. And sure enough, I've gone and done it, or I've tried anyway. Levine earned his BA from Wayne State University in 1950 and began attending writing workshops at the University of Iowa as an unregistered student in 1953. Levine officially earned his Master's of Fine Arts from the University of Iowa in 1957 and later that year won a Jones Fellowship at Stanford University in California. Shortly thereafter, he began teaching at the California State University in Fresno, where he would remain until 1992. Levine also taught at Columbia, Princeton, New York University, Brown University, the University of California at Berkeley and Tufts University. In The Simple Truth, the author uses a metaphor to compare a simple meal of food to the simplicity of things people do not see meaningful. He sh then shows the reader how easily it is to overlook these things that we take for granted every day. Philip states that he discovers with his friend Henri what the simple truths actually mean. Philip describes the definition of finding meaning within the simplest things humans take for granted every day. He concludes with another metaphor comparing the simplicity of dirt and salt to contribute to the complex makeup of the earth and metal. Listen to Philip Levine read his poem, The Simple Truth. 